G'day guys. All right, I've half prepared everything. Now this is my pattern. Anyone who hasn't seen how I made my pattern, I'll stick a link in one of these corners somewhere of a video that shows how I did that. If you haven't seen that, it might be best if you go back and check that out. Anyway, so what I've done is I put the the pattern in. I've made my two halves of my sand casting. Now what I've done, hopefully you can see that, I've gone through and I put air vents into each of the legs and feelers and and claws and everything. I'll just turn it over, I put a sprue in. Now I'm hoping there you can see those little holes. They are my air vents. Alright guys, what I'll do, I'll put the camera around so I can show you a good pour. I'll put my moulds back together and uh, I'll get you back. Okay guys. Okay guys, here we are prepared. Now, I just thought I'd try and talk to you a little bit about why I put in the air vents. What happens is when you close the two layers of sand together, it creates like an air pocket. So as liquid goes in, the oxygen that's inside expands, it needs to go out. So the more pressure that goes down, the more air needs to escape. So without the air vents that go in there, the liquid would go in, it pushes the air out to the sides. If it's got nowhere to go, it creates a pressure and stops the metal from flowing. So this is why I put in air vents for each leg. So as the liquid moves across, the air has somewhere to go. Now I put the air vents in up here. So the liquid will flow and then it'll come back out the air vents. You can always cut the air vents off later. So this is why air vents need to go in. Okay guys, I'll just get this metal prepared and we'll have a pour. Make sure you wear your safety glasses. Looking good. Okay. We have holes. We have air vents. You can always tell it's a good pour when you see your air vents. Alright guys, just let me give it a hose off and I'll come back and give you a look. Alright guys, there it is. All the little air vents have all got their own little piece on them, which I'll nip off. But he's come up really good. I'll cut off the sprue and all of those pieces. As usual, I'll give it a rub over on the brush. And uh, maybe I'll bend it up. Mm, maybe I won't. I'll get it prepared like that. And then uh, maybe I'll show you how I bend it. Alright guys. I'll just show you another one that I did. 
yesterday while I was filming with no air vents. As you can see, legs missing, tail not right. Disaster. I put a couple of air vents in the front which showed just here and here, but not enough ventilation for those legs. So that's why it's extremely important to put in the air vents. All right, guys, I'll clean it up. I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, here he is. Still nice and flat and straight. All cleaned up, looking good. Okay, what I want to do now is bend it. So what I'll do is I'll put it in between these pliers here. And I'm going to use this yellow map gas because I can't melt the copper with that. It would take half an hour to try and melt it. So what I'll do is I'll give it a hit and then a bend. I'll do the tail and then I'll do the rest later on. Right, now that we've got it very hot, just get your pliers out and then slowly try and wiggle your way up. Now don't go too fast and hard because you'll snap it. Once it starts getting a bit soft, then just reheat it. It also makes it some beautiful colours if you're into that sort of thing too. And you can end up getting quite a lovely, lovely colours in it. Anyway, so just, that's how you do it. You just take your time, you heat it. When you can move it, you move it. If you move it too quick though, you'll, you'll end up snapping it. I'll just give you an example here of one that's not heated. Just here, if I go to bend the legs, they just break straight off. Copper is a fairly brittle sort of a metal, so always make sure you heat it up to red hot before you try. All right, guys, what I'll do is I'll get it all bent up. I'll put in the polisher and give it a shine, and then I'll bring it inside and I'll show you. All right, guys, catch you in a minute. And here he is. He's come in at, at 90 grams and um, he's pretty happy. Alright guys, thanks for staying to the end here. For those that you who have who are interested in some more copper pours, there'll be a couple of videos come up any second now for you to look at. I'll put up a playlist for some more copper. Check it out. Thanks guys. Catch you on the next one. So that's it from me. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.